सो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो एंड दिस इज द फुल रिव्यू ऑफ एंड्रॉइड नोगट ऑन गैलेक्सी एस सेवन एच एंड आई बिन यूजिंग दिस फॉर वन टू टू डेज और मोर आई डोंट नो बट द परफॉर्मेंस इज प्रिटी गुड द यू आई इज फ्लूड द बैटरी परफॉर्मेंस इज प्रिटी मीडियो कर इट्स नॉट द ग्रेट थिंग और लाइक कंपेरेबल टू द मार्श में लो सो आई विल जस्ट गो थ्रू द एप्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू शो यू द यू आई एज यू कैन सी एवरीथिंग इज जस्ट वाइट लाइक द नोट सेवन ग्रेस यू एक्स but if you have like no photo on your contacts it will just give you the major like the icons just like nougat now go to the messages now there are some interesting features over here if you go over here and if you miss out to install a configuration it will give you option over here and there are many things added over here like split view and etc to be toggled which is a good thing there are more diverse options if you go to the clock as you can see the new world clock globo is over here and the clock app looks pretty ugly and then the marshmallow but it's just a thing cause something has to be changed whether it fits or worse or not but as you can see the font is bit a bolder side like the stock android one not like the typical samsung sense which is a weird thing now if you go to the gallery as you can see the background is white but if you tap it it becomes black i don't know it's just like the ios i don't know where why the samsung is like just copying ios through and through but as you can see you can just auto adjust it like the previous ones and just favorite it now you can just set it as always on display right through your set as ball per many things have been added you can just edit and the color is now orange it's not like the note 7's blue one which is a good thing pictures and it loads very fast than the marshmallow which is also a good thing go to the camera you don't logo get a camera icon is now the new one but as you can see new gris ux like camera app just like the note 7 you can just flip it to adjust it which is a good thing you can now logo to get the gallery just swipe right now it brings out the filters and you do get pre installed filters like retrica sweet selfie and many more monogram here is the hdr and this camera app has some tricks like it just focus just like instantaneous here is a clip i recorded with this camera app and it the focusing time is just instant you can just tap it and it just goes you won't even know whether, whether it's focused or not it's just very fast but there is no option to enable the dng like raw images even if you go to the pro mode everything has just same nothing more to be seen over here metering spot center weighted just the pro things but there is no option to enable the raw mode not even over here quick launch preview pictures nothing like a raw mode over here i don't know why the samsung took it back or it just enables like if you take a picture in a pro mode it will just automatically save in the raw mode i don't know maybe that would be discovered in the later beta versions but same everything i like the feature whether you can just tap it over here to change the resolution cause that was a bit handy for me like for switching the wide screen to a better view like a wider angle view i don't know why samsung took it back now there is the internet same as the previous one as you can see there is new icons maybe the s8 will look like this also you can authenticate like biometrics in many apps like the web browser as you saw there also the samsung galaxy like apps okay so there are some new features extensions is new uh, video assistant is new qr code reader good and samsung will be adding more extensions through the galaxy apps which is a good thing you don't get the uh, like note 7 like grace ux it's a bit different kind of like a nougat style you do get quick toggles here are my dual sims and this setting the app doesn't like spin so system ui is not like enable kind of thing as you can see it just expand like that but this is kind of a downgrade cause in previous versions you can easily like toggle everything 5 by 4 but now you have to swipe pages and it's very hard to look at with this skin you can just expand it like that power saying has this like diverse option here is the performance mode i always have been on performance mode cause it gives a kind of a boost and is not like a huge downgrade from normal so that's the thing you can just expand it over here which is good just like no got nothing new if you go to the recent apps it has like the same animation as previous but the cards have been bigger just to give it a no got feel it's kind of a buggy and glitchy but it's still in beta so we will not complain over there sound and vibration so the vibrations are pretty weird compared to the previous versions 
It's like the Samsung has added a new vibration motor through the update, but that's not possible. But it feels like that. If you have tried it, the vibration feels pretty weird, just like the haptic feedback of iPhone. You do get a blue light filter, it works just perfect, which is good. Now the auto brightness option, it's not present over here. Why the Samsung didn't add it over here, I don't know. It's just insanity. But you do get an extra level of brightness over there, as you can see. And if you go it on the sunlight with this enabled, the auto brightness feature will work. And the brightness is pretty good compared to the previous versions of software which is good also if you have the normal mode enabled as you can see it's running itself into the normal mode okay so you can just adjust your screen resolution from 1080p to 720p down over there to your hd 720p will save like a bunch of a battery but not nothing like a major performance upgrade so i have it on performance mode which is good it just shifts quickly which is good thing easy mode icon frames works pretty fine than before cause many of the apps as you can see some apps get a wide background but some apps do like crop which is a good thing but that just kind of ugly night clock always on display has much bolder font so i have like a analog so it doesn't like it. looks bad and you do get uh, note 7 like custom notifications which is good comes it very handy night clock is there led indicator not customizable you can just enable it screen saver is still there much of a diverse thing edge screen now the edge screen doesn't lag anymore in some parts but if you have something like animation going on it will lag but it in most of the part it's much of an improvement here it is device maintenance like a smart manager tab which is good it must be over here as you can see you can just like clear your cache storage ram everything from here and just toggle your performance mode which is good you can just like now add on your icons but right now it, there is not much of thing you do get one space theme as you can try on but you can access all the themes because you are still running the beta advanced features there are no advanced features in this like the previous uh, galaxy labs it has been totally removed from here which is a downgrade games still the same smart stays there everything is still the same pop-up view gesture now pop-up view gesture is much improved you can just okay there it is now you can adjust horizontally and now vertically too as you can see i made it just like small box over there which is kind of a good thing if i want to just copy down or jot down some memos video enhancer basically it just sharpens a bit more and gives a bit more of a boost in brightness now here is the battery you do get made and you can just basically customize it so mine is like 90 percent brightness speed limiter on always on display on and only 720p which is just works perfect nothing to do in that storage ram ram management is pretty good like the device only uses 1.4 gig to 1.6 gigs of RAM in many of the tasks. So system apps right now it's like currently using 1.8 gigs and you do get 2 gigs of RAM spare which is a good thing. Software update has been added over here it's not been like the about device section. Now if you go to the about device your phone number will be show over here I don't know why it's not showing mine but the uh, software update has been shifted uh, in front which is good model number software info no good now if you tap it for the first time you do get a option for marshmallow land like this like the previous marshmallow game or the android nougat easter egg but the nougat easter egg is not like right now working with this edit option over here you can't just add the gecko cat as you can see it does give me an option for nearby but i can't enable the gecko cat from here which is a down part security patch october not november so in terms of multi-window as you can see many apps are now available for multi-window but if you enable it you get the newer nougat one which is just a bugged off thing uh, in honesty as you can see you can actually reject like readjust it not like a like to a extent where you can just give it part but you can just readjust it which is good also if you tap it you can just swap it around but there are no like diverse features like before like copying and giving other ones if you tap it again you have to extend it and now just tap it like that nothing will do no multi window from here and if you hold it you do get the s voice not the now one tap not the google assistant you get s voice looks kind of ugly and now i will leave it off just by 
showing you a theme so that was pretty quick and as you can see the theme has been applied looks kind of ugly i know <laughs> but that's just what we get it looks very ugly compared to the marshmallow i could really like the marshmallow with some of the features i would just take that it uh, it's like the biggest uh, update samsung has ever given because samsung never updates its camera app it just like stuck on the previous versions if you owned a galaxy phone earlier you know what's the deal but this time samsung has given like the new camera app and it works perfect and good so i will not complain at that portion so guys thanks for watching this was my review on beta 1 of this nougat on galaxy s7 edge hope you guys like it please give it a big thumbs up and peace